Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today, and today we're going to be talking about the Houston Texans potentially bringing back J.J. Watt. Is it possible? Is it possible that the Houston Texans could be getting J.J. Watt back? Um, you know, I thought about it over the offseason. I talked about it a couple times on here, and thought, who knows, maybe there's a chance, maybe there's a chance with D'Amico Ryans uh, that J.J. comes out of retirement. And I really officially put it to bed in week four when the Houston Texans beat the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, because J.J. Watt was put in the ring of honor. I was like, okay, he's in the ring of honor. He's been retired. He's, lo he's, loving, un you know, he's loving retirement life, you know, doing, stu you know, with, doing stuff with uh, soccer in the football league um, and see, being on CBS uh, NFL Sunday and doing other stuff. Uh, in unreti you know, in retirement life, and so I just really thought there was no possible way you could see J.J. Watt back with the Texans or anybody for that matter, not just the Texans, anybody. But until today, on the Pat McAfee show, when J.J. Watt made his weekly appearance, just like Aaron Rodgers does, uh, this conversation started with Aaron Rodgers actually about him potentially coming back, and then it shifted it shifted towards. Um, it shifted towards him potentially making an NFL comeback. And he talked about how, you know, he's always hearing the Pittsburgh Steelers, um, you know, when, you know, come back to the, come back to the NFL, come to the Steelers. And he said a weird, a weird team that he doesn't know why it's being brought up, but the Detroit Lions. Um, and that's probably because of Aiden Hutchinson is people wanting to see Aiden Hutchinson and, um, and people want to see Aiden Hutchinson and J.J. Watt playing together. That would be actually really fun to watch, though. But, uh, you know, Pat McAfee the, and the guys on his show and J.J. Watt started talking about, you know, him potentially coming back. And, um, you know, he's still in football shape. You know, I, I've talked about Tom Brady potentially coming back on here multiple times. You know, when Aaron Rodgers tore his Achilles. I've talked about him potentially going to the Jets. I've talked about... Him potentially going to the Vikings after Kirk Cousins tore his Achilles a couple weeks ago. I talked about you know him potentially going to the Raiders, uh, you know, earlier in the earlier in the off season, or later in the off season. So I've talked about that a, a lot with Tom Brady, and I just never, I re never really thought Tom Brady that could actually happen because Tom Brady's not in football shape. While JJ Watt, I don't think it would take him that long to get in football shape and. Uh, he's already lifting. He's working out. The only thing he hasn't really been doing is is running and playing actual football. So that's that's that would really the only thing. Those are really the only two things he'd have to get in shape for. He's been lifting. He's been working out. That's that's good. Tom Brady's not really been doing anything, as of we know uh, as as we know. Um, but for the Texans to bring back JJ Watt, that would light this city up. This this city with sports that's already. Amazing! Uh, look at what the Rockets are doing right now. They just won six games. They're they're on a six game winning streak. They're playing unbelievable basketball. The Houston Texans have gotten two amazing wins in the last two weeks. C.J. Stroud with a huge comeback for the Texans, game winning drive against the Bucks, and then they just beat the Cincinnati Bengals on the road, who a team a couple years ago was in the Super Bowl, and just unbelievable football from the Texans. Now they're in the playoff picture at the number seven seed in the AFC. And the big thing that J.J. Watt said to set this off is that he said, use your brain. You, let's use our brains. If I was going to return, I would return to a team that is having a lot of success right now. Uh, or I think he said to, to a team that, ha that, a quarterback, that has a quarterback that is having a lot of success right now and is playing great football. And I think we all kind of knew what team he was talking about. And a team he's... He's been, you know, hyping up throughout the whole regular season, and that's the Houston Texans. And it would be great to have J.J. Watt back, although I don't think it happens, but I'm not saying there's zero. There's a zero chance it happens because I definitely could see it happening. Um, maybe him making a return and maybe potentially week 13, week 14, and him trying to help this team make a playoff run. The, I see this team already being a threat to make it to the playoffs with their current team they have right now. I think with the current team they probably have right now, with the current team they have right now, I think they make it either in the wild card or win in the division. You add J.J. Watt to this team, whether that's week 13, week 14, or a little bit later than that, maybe week 15, 
if it does happen, which I sincerely doubt it, uh, I think this Texans team uh, is a lock to win the AFC South of, over the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I think they're a little bit of a threat over in the AFC. Um, I don't know who they would scare. I don't think they're a threat to the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't really think they're a threat to the Miami Dolphins. Um, I think they bring a little bit of a threat to the Baltimore Ravens. And I, I don't know. I think they would be a little bit of a threat in the AFC with, with J.J. Watt. I mean, look look what he did. It's not like he was bad last year. He was just really concerned with injuries that continued to happen throughout his career. Last year, he was great with the Arizona Cardinals. Played 16 games, 16 starts, only missed one game. He had seven passes defended for one forced fumble with 13 sacks and one fumble recovery, 39 tackles, 18 tackles for loss. 2021 with the Cardinals, played seven games, seven starts, two passes defended for one forced fumble, only one sack and 16, ta- 16 tackles for five tackles for loss. Worst season of his career. 2020 with the Texans, 16 games, 16 starts, one interception, 19 yards, uh, one touchdown, and five sacks. Yeah, he had his multiple amazing seasons. 2018 season was a Pro Bowler and an All Pro. Had an unbelievable year. Seven forced fumbles, career high for him, which was the most in the NFL that year. 2015 uh, was 2015, 2014 combined. Those years had 38 sacks. 2012 had 21 sacks. Was unbelievable for the Texans uh, from 2012 through 2015. Was the best def- was probably the best defensive defensive player was the def- best was the best defensive player in football, so you, the Texans aren't going to get back that player, but they can get back the player that you know looked pretty solid with the Arizona Cardinals last year on the 2022 season, and then a little bit of a glimpse of what he did with the Texans throughout his years there. It would be unbelievable, and I think this would be it for him uh, if he could if he could come back for one more year, give this Texans team a couple games in the regular season, whether that's like, you know, three to five games potentially, and then set off to retirement and try to help this team give them give himself one more chance to try to get this team to win a Super Bowl with them now competing for pl- the playoffs now. I think that would I think that'd be great for the city, and I think the city would absolutely erupt if it happened. Um, but yeah, you remember your thoughts in the comment section. Do you want JJ Ra- JJ Watt to return to Houston? Do you think it's possible? I don't know. My I keep going back and forth. There's no way. Maybe there is a little bit of a possible way he comes back. Um, but it just feels like it's a, it's a, it's all a big joke. Um, it's the Pat McAfee show. It's not. It's not for real. It's not. It's not. You know. Oh, it's a guarantee he's coming back. Um. And definitely didn't. It felt like it was a little bit of okay. I'm not really serious about what we're talking about right now, but um, I know he has he has love for this city. Look at everything he's done for the city on the player as a player and off the field. What he did, what, what he did after Hurricane Harvey, he's been incredible for this city. So if he if he comes doesn't come back, it's no big deal. He still men he still means a lot to the city, but I think he would love to come back with the Texans competing uh, to make the playoffs and make a playoff run and maybe even be bigger threats than than anybody th- thinks. I mean, I think that and J.J. Watt and he, he can become, you know, what we think he can become and, and do what he, we think he can do. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy to say this, but I think the Texans have a shot to make it to the Super Bowl if they add in J.J. Watt. Uh, it would be hard because you're gonna have to knock out a team like the Dolphins, the Chiefs, or the Ravens. Uh, it'd be really hard, but I think they have a chance, a small chance, of potentially making it to the Super Bowl with C.J. Stroud at quarterback and J.J. Watt leading that defense. It would be incredible, but I doubt it happens. Give me your thoughts in the comment section. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.